project that keeps GM on the cutting edge of technology. It's called Impact, and it's an exciting new electric car, the first one in 10 years. It can go further and faster than any previous production-oriented electric vehicle. It can go from zero to 60 miles an hour in eight seconds, and it has all the comforts and convenience of a modern automobile. How many times a week do you fill up your car? Once a week? Twice? Maybe more? Well, imagine what it would be like to fill your car not with gasoline, but with electricity. And imagine that your electric car is not only stylish, but aerodynamically efficient. It runs clean. In fact, there's no exhaust system. Your electric car is comfortable. It's even equipped with air conditioning. And it's no slouch on the open road either. It'll do zero to 60 in eight seconds flat. Just imagine. growth of the uh, Sun Racer project that was done by uh, uh, General Motors and uh, the fact that we won the race in Australia in 87 by some two and a half days gave us a, a strong feeling that uh, uh, we had a, a pretty good lock on some technology and uh, so it looked like a, a kind of a, a good evolution to uh, examine uh, a pure electric car we wanted to um, kind of drive a stake in the ground, if you will. Previously, a lot of electric cars had been done by converting a production car, which is certainly an easy way to do it, but the trouble is you end up having to make a lot of compromises in doing that. So the approach here was to take a clean sheet of paper approach to an all-new car. Would have a, a tapered uh, surface going from front to back, and what the objective is is to have as small a base area as you can. The smoother you can do that, uh, the, the better chance you've got of lowering the drag on a vehicle. It was an important element. Any attraction you feel is perfectly natural. Your brain also works on electrical impulses. The electric car is here. It's today that we are taking a major step toward helping our country meet its transportation needs and environmental goals. We are proceeding with our plan to produce and sell the impact. Rather than wait for a breakthrough, let's say, let's take the batteries that we've got here today and see if we can make a viable electric car that goes over 100 miles. And that, that we've done now. A breakthrough in batteries will just make a car like this that much better. I mean, maybe we will see a 300-mile range in the future. 